Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I am gonna be doing this red inspired look based on today being World AIDS Day. So this is dedicated to everybody in the LGBT community and anybody outside of it that is affected by AIDS. It is a huge epidemic and I definitely support the whole movement of end the stigma. This is dedicated to anybody that knows someone suffering from it or if you are suffering from it. So I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned and watch how I come up with this look. What's up? Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna be putting some tape around the eyes. I want this look to be really like eccentric, really different. So I'm only gonna be doing skin tones around the eyes and then the whole face is going to be red as you can tell from the preview. Now we're gonna be doing the eyebrows, we're gonna be gluing them down. As you guys know, I have super hooded eyes, so my makeup never really shows unless I glue down my eyebrows, then I have more space to work with them. I say about three to four coats of it, of like the regular Elmer's glue stick works perfectly fine. Before you put the powder on it though, you have to make sure that the brows are completely dry, which is why I, um, you know, always do it, let them rest. And then I pop in my color contacts. As you guys know, I love contacts. I think they add so much more pizzazz to the look. And I'm gonna be just using some powder. The powder that I'm using is the same that I always do, which is a mix of NYX translucent powder and regular baby powder that you can get at the dollar store. And then with the fluffy brush, just dust it along. And I'm gonna go in with the TV paint stick from Krylon in the color FS36. That is my natural skin color. I love Krylon TV paint stick. It's just so wearable. It's so thick. The consistency is almost like magical. Literally, it's an amazing foundation. I recommend it to anybody, especially if you do a lot of FX and drag looks. And I'm gonna center and highlight with the same Krylon TV paint stick but in the color F1. And I'm just using a beauty blender for all of this. And then Cody Airspun to set the whole foundation. And I'm just gonna put um, some excess Cody Airspun on the highlights. <clears throat> And then also the more powder you put the better as that will catch any fallout from the eyeshadows and then you can just dust it up once you're done. Now I'm gonna be using the Bad Habits Inferno palette for this whole look. And the first color that I'm going in with is Bait. That one is like a soft brown and I'm just using that cr to create the crease. And to do the outline of my eye shape which is very drag inspired I will say for this palette it's super cheap you can get it for $10 on the Hush app and it is so pretty it is obviously a dupe of the Heat palette by Urban Decay but I wanted to try it out I think it's really cool to do other brands as well not just high-end brands so and then for the price and then the color and the pigmentation of it, it's definitely a steal. Now for the crease, I'm gonna be darkening it up a little bit. And for that, I just went in with the color um, warm. Now to darken it a little bit more, I'm using the color Burn and Bonfire. And the whole key to this look is blending. You really want to blend out the eyeshadow to make sure that it looks really pretty. And I'm going to take one of the darker colors, Smolder, and just apply that towards the part where I'm winging the my makeup. And 
And now for the metallic tone, I am using Blaze. And I just really want to make that crease really pretty, so the metallic tone to it really, you know, adds dimension to it. And then the other metallic color is lit, and I'm using that for the lid of my eye. And then once again, I use Burn and Smolder. And then underneath my eyes, I'm using the same colors, Burn and Smolder for it. And I want to leave the middle of my bottom lash open since I am going to be going in with a lighter color there. And now to really blend it out and not have any sharp lines, I'm going in with the Naked palette. And I'm using the soft brown, it's the third one down. And once again, you just go in with warmth and really, really blend all of it out. Now, I made that wing a little bit too much, like too high up, and I didn't like it. So I just went in with some Krylon and some setting powder and just fixed it really quick. And then I took the color Burn and Smolder and once again defined the crease even more. And then just use the color blaze to really make the metallic pop in the center. And I'm gonna cut the crease with the white cream color from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. This is also a dupe because your boy was not about to spend a hundred dollars on this palette. So this one is from iMagic, and you can get it on Amazon for like 18 bucks. And I just really want to make that inner corner of my eye pop and the lid so that's why i'm going in with the white the white cream and just you know cutting the eyeshadow and now back to the inferno palette and we're going to be using the color white hot which is like a pearl-esque white and we're just going to be applying that all over the white base to set it and add the really pretty color to it and as you can tell it just makes the whole eyes pop and like i said underneath the eyes we we're going to leave it blank because we're going to do the same technique, the white um, cream base and then top it off with the white hot from the Inferno palette. And I went back in really quick and blended it out. And now for the eyeliner, I don't have a red eyeliner so instead I'm using the Wicked Sisters um, liquid lipstick in the color Enchantress. I'm telling you guys, Wicked Sisters is fucking amazing. Their lipsticks are so durable. They are so like waterproof, kiss proof, everything proof. They will stay in place the whole night. And what's even better is you can use my discount code ThatMontoyaKid15 to get money off. And I also collaborated with them and created my own collection. So check that out. It's the Hexmax collection. And now for the brows, we're going to be going with the Anastasia Brow Dip. And we're just going to be creating a really defined brow shape. And I wanted to arch them higher than normal. And really make them skinnier than when I usually do my brows. Just because I wanted this look to be, like I said at the beginning, something different, more eccentric, more like, wow. And then to clean them up, I am using the TV paint stick from Krylon in FS36 again. And I just really, you know, cleaning the edges of it and everything. And I'm taking the same Anastasia brow dip and I'm just gonna go towards the end to really make it more darken. And then clean it up again. And I'm taking the NYX glitter glue and just applying it at the beginning of the brows. And I'm taking some craft glitter in red and making them seem almost as if the glitter is shaping into the eyebrows and diffusing it. And I'm gonna put some glitter right underneath the white opening as well. Just a fine line. 
And now for the lashes. These lashes are actually super amazing. They are from Hooked Cosmetics. I'll leave the link down below. The style is called Baby Girl. And what you can see me doing is that I first placed them on my eye to make sure that they fit. They were um, a little bit long, so I just cut a little bit from the inner corner out and I put them on. They are so comfortable. As you can tell, I literally just placed them on the eye, patted them down, and they were good to go. They already come super fluffy, so you don't even have to use any mascara or anything like that. But I'm telling you guys, the band is comfortable on the eyes. It's not thick. Like, wow, I was blown away. And then now for the bottom, I'm just using some Urban Decay mascara in perversion and that's just for the bottom of my eyes and now for the rest of my face I'm gonna be taking the red from the flash palette dupe that I was talking about and I'm gonna apply it all the way on the bottom of my face the nose leaving the lips clear because I'm gonna be doing the lips a different color and then the top of my head as well and then I left the tape on just to really use that as a guideline for a straight line. And I am actually going over it. And then once I have the perfect line, I take the tape off and go back in and color it. Make sure you take your time with this application to make it look smooth and not streaky. And then just to finish it off and add more details because you guys know I'm all about detailing. I also did half of my ear as I wanted to make it look like just a strip of flesh was the one seen throughout the eyes. And then just to really set this, I'm using a La Femme pressed eyeshadow in the color red. And now to contour, I'm going to be contouring with black just to add that mesh into it. I mean, I didn't want to do brown, especially with the red. And I'm going to be using the same... Um, product just in the color black so it's a La Femme pressed eyeshadow in black what's really cool is the black comes off a little bit of a dark purple when you blend it all out so it really 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 adds dimension to everything and as you can tell I'm contouring my nose with the same black just on the red part where it, now I'm going to be going in and contouring the skin tone of it with the Anastasia contour kit and I'm just using a small brush to contour my nose and really pinch it and then now just to add a little bit more of a white tone to the highlights of my face I'm using the Cody Airspun and I'm just applying that all over as a last step for setting the face and for my lips I am going to be using Wicked Scissors Cosmetics liquid lipstick in black it's called Brujeria and I'm actually so sorry guys I didn't realize I had the mirror in front of my face so um, the whole video like you can't even tell that I did it so I just cut all of that out and then on top of the Brujeria lipstick I'm using some glitter for the same type of glitter that I use for the brows on my lips and I'm brushing off all the excess white powder we got that mug and now we're gonna set it with the Urban Decay All Setter and I'm gonna go in with the Aura Palette from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna be doing some crazy highlighting and I'm gonna be doing that on my cheeks my nose my lips my right underneath my brows and that really sets it off all right guys so that was it for today's video i hope you really enjoyed it let me know what theme what look what colors you want me to use next for my next video make sure you like this video comment down below and then subscribe to my whole channel keep tuned into my instagram and my youtube i have a lot of huge projects coming up and as always, your support and your love means the world to me. So until next time and peace out, Cub Scouts.